Ginger ale. That's why I did that. <clears throat> All right, folks. We back in the lab. We back in the studio. It's Captain's Law Podcast and YouTube show. I'm your host, Rob. You just got me, um, my co-host, Rick. Still healing up, man. Uh, get well soon, bro. We'll see you back when you get back. Um, let's get straight into it, man. I want to be real short and brief with y'all today. Uh, topics. We can recap and AI software. Um, so real quick, today is Monday, 27th. Happy, bir- happy birthday to my sister, Lisa. Love you. I hope you're doing well. I did speak to her earlier today. She is doing good, so shout out to her. <clears throat> She's seven years younger than me, so she's either 30 or 31, I got to ask. Probably 31. Um, so what happened over the weekend, man? Uh, no basketball practice on Friday. It was on Thursday, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, my son had bowling Saturday. They did pretty good, and he had a game on Saturday as well at two o'clock, where they played against Fort Washington. They won that game, so shout out to them! <laughs> Congratulations on the win, but I'm still not impressed with the performance. I will say that because um, this team only had five players, and my son's team has got like uh, shit, it's at least fourteen or fifteen. I think it's four. I think it's fourteen kids. So fourteen kids, you know, against five kids. Pretty much when they were taken, um, when they needed to substitute, like they had a player. I think their best player had got hurt. Um, they was only playing with four players, and they were still um, roughing us on the rebounds. It's roughing us on the rebounds big time. Uh, it was pissing me off. I'm like, bro, get the fucking rebound. Uh, then. Just careless passes, man. The, the one thing that, these, that the kids still need to learn is uh, court vision. Um, the court vision is not there. You know, they'll come down, you know, you know, get a little bucket or whatever, get a defensive stop, and they'll come down. And it's like when the going gets tough, man, just fucking throw the ball in the air. D- don't look at who you're throwing it to. Just throw it, and hopefully somebody will get it. Or you'll have, you know, everyone on the left side – and there's no one on the right side, and no one even thinks to run over there to, to, you know, to be wide open for a shot. So, a combination of a lot of small things, man. They should have blew. They should have blew them boys out by at least twenty points. And to only win by one, yeah, it's cool. You know, you get a little win, but no, nah, that's not gonna work, man. So I ain't say too much about. It. I just said congratulations, but you know, I'm pretty sure myself as well as the other parents in the stands was just like, why is the score even so close? They were actually down for a good portion of the game. And then they came back, they rallied in the last four minutes of the game. Um, but shout out to them, man. They got one more game this weekend against Upper Marlboro, and then my son will start his next league. Uh, same coaches, a few different kids. Some of the kids now can come back and play, but they'll play their spring league. At this point, he's chosen basketball, so – I'll keep you in basketball. You know what I'm saying? You want to get out there and run, whatever's going to keep the weight off, whatever's going to keep you active, I'll drop your ass off at the rec center, and you can do what you need to do. Moving on. Excessive bells today. So I want to talk about AI software. Artificial intelligence, that is, for those who don't know what AI means. Um, so first and foremost, what is it? What is AI? AI. Um, It's computer programming that mimics human behavior. Um, I mean, at this point, we're pretty much living in the future because whether you know it or not, um, a lot of things that you use or may not notice you're using is is considered AI type of software. So I'm going to tell you the four types of software, and then we're going to get into some examples as well. So the first one is just AI platforms. So this is where the shit is made from scratch. Uh, you'll probably never hear about that. Then you got chat box, chat bots. Chat bots is essentially what it is. It's a chat box, and you talk to it, and it talks back to you. Uh, I'll give you some examples to, to how you would use it, but like, believe it or not, that's a thing. If you haven't, look up a uh, chat uh, GFT or PFT, whichever ones. Then you have deep learning. 
deep learning deep learning is more of like for like speech speech recognition and image recognition we use this too uh, i mean if, if if you got a smartphone and you go and you put your face up to it and it unlocks ding ding that's ai software uh, we'll get into that too and the last one is machine learning this is when a computer application learns in order to, to provide uh, data specifically for you. Um, so let me give you some examples, all right? So let's just say you online shopping, right? You online shopping, and next thing you know, you might be looking on your phone. Let's say you're looking on your phone. Let's say you're on Amazon, and you know you're looking at I don't know maybe some toiletries for the house. Like damn, you know the toilet paper cheap on on, on Amazon. So let me look on there. Next thing you know, you'd be like, damn, I, would, I you know I could use some deodorant too, or maybe even some some cologne. You know what I mean? So you're speaking into this. Now, if you don't have this shit turned off on your phone, you might want to turn it off. It's, and it's ad tracking. So what happens is your microphone is enabled. When you get it, all this shit is enabled. Unless you got to manually go in and turn it off. You'll go in there and start saying, oh, well, you know, I need these extra two items that I mentioned, but it's not in my cart. So next thing you know, you may go to log on Facebook. You may go to log on Twitter. You may go to log on, you know, bestbuy.com or walmart.com. And right on the side, you're going to see ads for deodorant. You're going to see ads for cologne. You're going to see ads for whatever it is that you was talking about because you have this enabled. And they use that. It, it, it's ad tracking. So it's used to get you to buy more stuff. So they know, like, shit, this is what you're looking for. We got it on Amazon. We got the ad tracking going. We heard you say it. Don't say you don't need it. We heard you say it. So now, boom, it's right there. Next thing you know, you're going to keep seeing it and keep seeing it until that shit going to end up in the fucking cart, bro. So that's just one form. I'll give you another one. We can still use online tracking. So for me, you know, I buy a lot of bike parts, motorcycle parts, shit like that. So when I'm online and I'm looking at something, then I'm just like, if I'm curious to um, what, you know, if the, if this part is specific or uh, is this the only thing that comes in the packaging or just want more information, You'll see that little box on the right that says chat. And you know what? You'll click there and you'll and it'll say, hey, hey, how am I help you? And you'll say, I'm interested in part one, two, three, four, five. It's for this bike, this year bike, this color, uh, whatever. It's just these spark plugs. So you sitting there talking and the chat box is giving you all this information. That is AI. That's not a person. That is a computer generated program that is programmed to be able to answer any question that you need answered pertaining to the website that's selling shit, right? So, yeah, this is cool, right? It's, it's, just, it's just something we can use. Um, I'm just going to name a couple of household names that you may not have thought was AI software. Google Cloud, uh, Azure, that's a uh, IT thing. Uh, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Yes, when you asking, hey, Alexa, what's this? Or you saying, hey, Siri, or hey, Google. All of that shit is AI. It, it's an AI program that's meant to talk to you and give you the information that you want to ask or tell you a fucking joke or tell you the weather or, or book appointments for you or remind you. All of that shit is AI stuff, bro. So I'm going to mention a few more AI things. Now, this is more so, you know, pertaining to podcasting or even content creators. Um, Chat GPT. What does it do? You ask it anything. It's faster than Google. Um, I would have got on it today and, and just, just you know, had a couple of examples to put up, but apparently everyone's on it right now. So if you're using the free version, you get on when, when they're not crowded enough where they can handle it. Um, you got another one called Jasper AI. It says, write anything. Write anything down. It's going to help. Uh, you got another one called Synthesia. This is to create a talking avatar. So your face, but the mouth is moving. You know what I'm saying? You got repurpose.io. This is to automate your social media. You got Jenny AI. This is for writing essays. You got Grammarly. You got Quillbot to rewrite everything. And then you got Mail Mentor. So this is to help you write sales emails. Listen, this is just the tip of this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Just a handful of AI programs that I mentioned. There are so many more. I for whatever you're doing right now, there is most likely an AI program that's out there that's going to help you and that's going to cut your, cut your workload in half. Um, so on the podcasting, right, so let me tell you all about some of these AI uh, software platforms that pertain to podcasting. So do you know that now, like, 
they have an AI pr- platform. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Adobe Podcast, where you don't even need microphones. So I don't need this Rode Pod mic that I paid hundred dollars for on Amazon. Um, I can just sit here and talk regular. Just I can back up, and I don't need to be looking into this. I don't need to be looking at my Zoom PodTrack P4, and I can once I'm done, I can take this clip and drag it onto Adobe Podcast, and it will in a couple of minutes give me back my same video as if I was talking in a microphone. So you will have studio quality sound that you can just put it in there. Boom, AI software. Let me give you another one. You got AI software is where you can record your podcast directly into it, right? And you can transcribe it. This is Descript. It's called Descript. You can record it on there as you're recording. It's transcribing. It's transcribing. It's transcribing. So you talk for an hour. You have an hour's long worth of shit. Let's say you like me, where we on here, we like... Oh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know what the fuck I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of those are filler words. I could just go click a button and say erase filler words. It'll probably be 200 of them bitches in there. And boom, it's gone. So then what it does is not only does it remove that shit from there, and then it also just, just moves it right in. So, you know what I'm saying? If you watching me talk or you listening to me talk, it's like I never said it. So I never said none of that shit. You would never know because I've edited it. I've edited it. You would never know. You know what I'm saying? What else can you do? Oh, so another thing you can do. Uh, you can create your voice, right? So let's say this is still Descript. Uh, they call it, I think they call it Dub, Dub Media. And you can, um, you record your voice. And it's the reason why you do this. So let's say I want to get in and I record my voice. I ain't doing it. I want to record my voice. I'll do this whole, read this whole little paragraph, and it'll pick up my accent. It'll pick up my slurring words. It'll pick up, you know, my lisp. It'll pick all of that shit up. So if I need to erase a filler word, or let's say let's say I don't want to have no cuss words no more. Let's say I don't want to curse no more. That's a damn lie. Um, I can go on here, and I can have... My own words, replacing the words that I could say instead of saying the F word, I could say uh, f- uh, flick that or, or funk that. And I'll type it in and it will come back in my voice. So you would never know. You would never know unless I told you, hey, uh, I, I'm not cursing no more. I, I could say, hey, guys, I'm not going to curse anymore. I'll try my best to bleep it out. Or I could just bleep it or I could just remove it or change the wording so at least sounds like I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? And really one of the biggest ones of all is, well, to me, is you can take long form videos. You can take 20 minute video and you can upload it to a platform. I'm, I'm not going to tell. I'm, I'm keeping this one hostage for myself because it's going to benefit me. You can take a 20 minute video. You can put it into this platform. You come back in a half hour and it will make short form videos for you formatted for whatever platform. So if I need if I need from this, I need a video for TikTok. I'm gonna go in and say I want it in the nine by nine by sixteen aspect ratio, and I want it. I want to crop it so it fills the whole screen, and I want captions. It's gonna do all that shit automatically. And at the most, I may go in and adjust the time. You know the times that I want it to go, whether shorter or longer. I can adjust the captions, the size, the placement. If I want to add some images, some some gifs, and 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 all that other shit. I can add all of that, but I don't have to, I essentially don't have to sit here after I record this and do post edit. I don't have to sit and make clips anymore. It will do it for me. Crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of shit that this AI stuff that can do that will essentially make your life easier. If you like me, you know what I'm saying? You grinding your podcast and you making content. You know, you 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 keeping your ear to the streets. You constantly want to make stuff, but you but you don't have time to sit and edit. You know what I'm saying? Every day, this shit would kind of save you, man. Um, so th- there are some pros to it, but let's talk about the cons. Let's talk about the dangers. All right. First and foremost, jobs. Um, as this shit continues to 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 evolve and more and more shit comes out, there's gonna be jobs. So customer service. You you remember back in the day? I I'll go back to the chat box. The chat bot. The first thing you do when you when you go on, you want to ask a question, a customer service or something. It'll ask you a bunch of shit. 
The goal is to get the AI software to answer as much shit as possible before it absolutely can't help you. And then you need to actually speak to a human. So think about that. You know, you you all you on your bank, you on you on your you on your website, you on Navy Fed, and you asking all these questions about your account, and it's giving you explanations. But you're like, you know, I want to talk to a person. Customer service, customer service representative. You want to talk to a person. So now it's like, all right, well, they didn't the, the AI didn't try to help you for 15 minutes. It's not now. We're gonna put you. We're gonna send you to a person. Think about how many customer service reps you may need now. You may only need one because you got a hundred people coming in. And the AI is handling the majority of it. So now you don't need that many customer service reps, right? I got a better one. Let's get back into what I'm doing. Podcasting, producing, editing, all that shit. Now, just imagine. I just I just sat here and said that um, this product will make clips for me. This product will essentially edit my podcast for me. So what about the what about the freelance video editors out here? These guys who be on uh, Fiverr or Upwork, like, hey, I can edit your shit. Now you got to think about them. Now it's like, okay, well, what are you doing that 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 you asking me to pay you, you know, fifty dollars an hour to edit edit my podcast? It may take you three or four hours. Hence, I can go and pay fifteen dollars a month to at least get the foundation set, and then I can do the rest myself. Right. Now let's talk about cost. So you see, I just mentioned, okay, it's fifteen dollars an hour. Okay, that, that's fifteen dollars a month. That's cool. That's just one. Now just imagine if I, I got an AI service, AI software I use to 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 make short term uh, videos for me. Okay, cool. Now I'm using an AI service to change change my voice from studio from from regular to studio quality because now I don't want to sit in the studio. I want to be out in the streets. You know what I mean? So now I'm doing that, and I'm just using my phone. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm paying. I'm paying a service for that. Okay, now I want my shit to be transcribed because I'm a starter. I'm a start a blog or a newsletter, and I want to just take everything I'm saying and just transcribe it and then put it on there. So now I'm paying for three services. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention uh, the the video editing. You know what I'm saying? All of this other extra shit like for TikTok and all that. Like. All of this is paying, so it's like now, okay, boom, boom, boom. Am I really about to pay, you know what I'm saying, for three different services just to free up my time, just just to free it up so I don't have to edit three or four days out of the week? Somebody going to pay it because I'm here to tell you, editing today, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is not fucking fun. So, yes, somebody is going to go out here and pay for that so they can get that time back. And still potentially mess around and your product be overall better, which will eventually lead to some money. Sounds pretty self-explanatory, right? Maybe. Um, Let's just talk about emotionless. Emotionless. So just imagine there's somebody out here who who has an AI chatbot or chat GPT that just be on there. And this is their best friend. The chat chat fucking GPT is their bestie. There's somebody out there. We don't want to admit it. There's somebody out there. And this is this is their best friend. You know what I mean? So now you got to deal with that. Now you're going to be dealing with, you know, we already having social issues. You know what I'm saying? So now you're going to be dealing with that. Let's talk about the kids. I'll give you an example of this. My son, they got exams this week, right? And he says that it's a young lady in his class that she gets perfect. She get perfect uh, A pluses, uh, good grades on all of her essays in her class. Then she comes out and says that she uses Grammarly. Do you know how Grammarly works? You take the bullshit that you wrote and you just copy it and you put it in the thing and it comes back professionally written. So you got a seventh grader writing, you know, writing papers like like she in college getting her goddamn PhD. And she just pays a monthly fee. So it's like now we, we, we're getting to a point where it, it, it may it may be small now, but it's going to be a lot of kids out here that's really going to be dumbasses and just going to be putting, cutting and pasting this shit in here and getting straight A's. So, you know, you, you know how that's going to be long run. Um, and finally, man, um, the most important one, security. How safe y'all think this shit is? Let me know. How safe do y'all think it is to be like doing facial recognition on an AI software? I, I ain't talking about on your phone and all that shit. I'm talking about these softwares and your voice and all that. How safe is it? You remember when TikTok came out with that thing, the AI software where 
you put you you put your face on it. I don't know if it was TikTok, but it was an AI software. You you know take a picture of your face and you do a couple of angles, or you uh, you upload a couple of pictures, and next thing you know, it give you like twenty or thirty pictures of you looking all fucking crazy. I posted it on my TikTok a while ago, bro. I feel like that's that's kind of the same as just like carelessly giving up your information. You know the hackers can get this right. You know what I'm saying? Just like they get anything else over the years. Motherfuckers been hacking and scamming forever. So to me, the way like the way it's rolling out is so many different avenues, so many different platforms you can use to fit the consumer's need. I feel like we're more and more putting ourselves in danger for identity theft, scamming, and other bullshit like that. So it worries me a little bit. I ain't going to sit here and say that I'm not using it. I was definitely using Descript. And my wife definitely uses Quillbot. Honestly, we weren't even thinking about it. Unless, uh, unless somebody pointed it out to me, I would have never even realized that it was AI software. You know what I'm saying? But, yes, we do use it. And we are going to continue to use it because, I mean, it's it's the future. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But um, I just think I'm not telling nobody not to use it. Like, if it works for you, use it. If it gets you more time with your family, use it. If it gets you some money, use it. Uh, but just be careful, you know what I'm saying? Just know know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Always do your research, and um, it should all work out for you. But that's all I got, man. Let me know y'all thoughts. And make sure y'all share, subscribe, and support. Captain out.